Hello there. It's all very green, um, but I'm not going to go into green screen. Oh, I've obviously got my green screen behind me. Um, and i got a fancy new light. Ooh, uh, to light it with. But anyway, that's not what I want to talk to you about today. Uh, what I've got for you is a little bit of a problem. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. And I'm designing something for this light here. That joint there basically just falls apart. This bit up here, I mean, it used to have, you know, got these sort of clamping bits down there, and they're supposed to sort of clamp on there. Yeah, it, it no longer works, and I'm gonna fix it. The first thing you need to do is obviously measure some things. Oh, I also um, have something in your mind's eye about where you're trying to go. What I had is definitely a bit to ram down the tube and another bit to hold the bit that used to run down the tube um, and then you obviously measure those things so you measure you know what what is the the width of the tube and the height are they different it looks square it is square it's a bit battered but yeah it's essentially square so just going back to the beginning so let's have a look at this sketch and what I worked out is that it looks like an 8mm hole will fit that quite nicely, and it looks like uh, it's 10mm. And so, you know, you work out and you do sort of, you know, you know um, the basic extrusion. So the first thing is you're going to extrude the bit that's going to go down the tube. And then the next thing you do is extrude the other end. Um, and it was at this point I get my first change because my initial thought was to extrude this, you know, just keep this round. And then of course, how are you going to print it? Because you want the strength, you know, it's going to be printing, you know, in this sort of direction, like that. That's how the printer sounds when it prints, of course. And that's, you know, that's where the, the sort of strength is going to be. Um, so that's definitely the way you uh, round to print it. If you did want this, you know, to be rounded underneath there, you'd have to use supports um, or print it the other way around so that you, you're putting this as your base, that on the base of the printer, printing it that way up. I suddenly thought, yeah, actually, if I don't, I don't, I don't really need that. Um, it doesn't look pretty, but hey, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Let's let's think about the functionality of this. I'm going to come back to this extrude because that isn't what I thought of to start with. Then it occurred to me you've got these sort of notches in the round part, and if I can cut some slots like that, we can get some tie wraps. And then it's just the question of prettying things up. So fillets. Um, and suddenly it's starting to look kind of intended. Now, why have I got this weird bit sticking out? Well, that was because of these fillets. I could not get a fillet without that bit sticking out to sort of go uh, on here. It wouldn't, it wouldn't fit at that part. Um, just trust me on that, try it yourself. And then do that, you know, fit it because it's slightly different. I don't want it quite as rounded. That's the first one. And so these two fillets, in a way, it's, it's all one job. I'm just filleting. I'm just you know, rounding off all the, the harsh corners. Now, you might think it would be good to round off that one and that one. But that's going to be round into the tubing. So don't want to fillet those. Um, you could fillet. Yeah, we could, we could do that. Didn't occur to me at the time. I'm happy with the way it looks. Um, and then the last trick is this extrude 5, which we'll have a look at. And that's just, you can select this face and do an extrusion to remove it in that direction. And that means that the sticky outy bit is gone and I've got all my fillets in. So that's a little crafty thing I came up with. A uh, little bit, well, I would say, lateral thinking. So, the thing is, let's print it out and see if it works. And here it is. Doesn't it look pretty? Nice little printout. 
and um, yeah, I will fit it and that'll be fine. Except that I've already had a quick go. Um, <laughs> what's they saying? Measure twice, cut once. But that hole is nowhere near the right size. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh dear, how embarrassing. Well, we'll try and fix it in the next video.